What's go- Oh. Okay. Uh, can you... Turn my camera back, please? No? Come on now. Wow, okay, that was really- <laughs> That was really strange. Where am I getting shot from? Oh, I'm not getting shot from anywhere. You have the wackiest hairstyle I've seen in a while. Anyway, what's going on guys? It's the Pancake Renegade here, and welcome back to Fallout 3. I don't know why these guys attacked me, but as you can see, I, uh, I clearly got attacked. Um, it wasn't very fun. And I was honestly in that, uh, Wasteland or what? Legend of, interesting. I was in that little uh, scene for like the Vats thing. For, I don't know, I want to say 40 seconds? That was really weird. Uh, it's happened before, and ironically, it's also been Mysterious Stranger that bails me out. But, yeah. Okay, so I'm kind of searching for something, kind of not. Um, I'm looking for the toy knife, if you guys know what that is, or, you know, where that is. Um... I'm trying to search for it. It's not like a do or die situation. I don't need to find it, but I figured it'd be kind of cool to have. Uh, it's, I think, one of the worst weapons in the game. So I'm going to look, look up its exact location real quick, just because I didn't think I'd be stuck in the animation for super long. Uh, Two-way knife, Fallout 3. Uh, come on. Because, yeah, we are going for the collectibles. And this is technically a collectible weapon. Um, people are saying it's in the trash heap. Bog walker? No, that's not what I want. I want the toy knife. Okay, so I'm going to look around. I don't think I'm very close at all. Yeah, I've moved way too far south. I'm going to head back to the Turtle Dove Detention Camp. Um... Unique weapons. Okay, don't. Dang it. I gotta look up a video for this now. That's great. Two minute long video for something. Okay, it's like a little bend of the road. So it's roughly there. I was thinking it was in the woods by that little lake, but I guess I'm wrong. Alright, so let's check around here. Let's see what this dude says. Um, hockey mask, and it's... Yeah, literally there. Okay. So I was kind of far off. Um, but yeah, welcome back to Fallout 3, guys. I'm a little tired. <laughs> if you can't tell uh, by my voice or anything, I'm a little tired. Um, yeah. I'm still going to try my all and, you know, get this recording done and you know, power through it. Okay, so what the heck? Why is it telling me to go all the way over there? Alright, well, let's head back to the road. I don't understand this little logic of the uh, little compass marker. Okay, so it's back over here, roughly. It's, like, right here-ish. I know it's by bushes. I know that. But everywhere is by bushes. Okay, hey. Um, hmm, I don't know, I don't want to spend all episode here, but I figured while we're searching for it, we might as well try and find it, you know? Okay, so this dude saying what? There, he goes to the sign. And it's hidden like that. Okay, so we're gonna look for the sign, Turtle Dove. Um, am I heading the wrong way? No. Okay, the sign, it's over here. The sign's there. He goes like here. Or something. What the heck? Oh, maybe over here. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with this. This dude just, like, found it in 20 seconds. Ah, wait. Oh, yay! 
We did it. We did it. Eh, eh, we did it. I went too far straight. Alright, so here is the hockey mask and the toy knife. We, of course, could care less about this because of our still glitched appearance of wearing the uh, pint slice slasher mask. You know, a little, little alter ego. Alright. <clears throat> so, welcome back to the episode. Uh, sorry for that little detour there. We have hearing voices, but we also have another uh, little unmarked quest. Let's go ahead and remove that before I get confused again. Let's head to the point lookout pier. And I remember liking this quest, but hating that I had to remove my scar. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm not gonna fall asleep during recording. I know that. But here we have Nadine, and she's dressed in something that's not tribal garb. Let's talk to her. Hey, just in time. Found out who went rooting around in our skulls, and you'll never guess who it was. As a totally unrelated hint, I'm in charge of his boat now. <laughs> Wait, Tobar did it? Yeah, looks like it. When the tribals would send someone to the swamp, he'd be waiting around to nab them when the Pungaseeds gassed him. He'd do his amateur surgery for the tribals and let us wander back, all in exchange for Punga fruit to trade. <laughs> Sweet little deal he had going on. Anyway, I figured you'd want a shot at some revenge, so I put him under citizen's arrest, sort of. It's, it's not that I don't believe you, but that's a crazy story to believe. I mean, this guy ferreted us over, and he's letting us, you know, keep our gear here. How do I know you're telling the truth? It sounds pretty wacko, right? Agreed. Well, I wouldn't have believed me either until I snuck a peek in Tobar's engine room. From the look of it, he kept every bit of gray matter he cut out, and he had quite a collection. You can take a look if your stomach's up to it. And while you're in there, feel free to give Tobar my love. Preferably with a sharp end of a hot knife. Remind me not to mess with you. Damn right. Now why can't the rest of the world figure that one out? So that leaves me with a boat, a load of punga, and a wicked scar. Damn, if I haven't earned that adventure I came out looking for. Think I'll take over running this ship. I can travel as I like and always head back to the wasteland to see mom. Not a bad way to live, huh? Of course, you can always ride for free. Sweet. Yeah, enough Gavin. Let's move. Alright, so that is a quest I wanted to do way early on. And before we actually head inside, let's uh, drop some gear off, shall we? Because we're at 264. It's not too bad. Let's drop these bio or biogas can uh, canisters. Actually, let's drop 16 and keep one. Oh, weird. It makes the noise of a drink. That's strange. Still haven't used a double barrel, but I'll put that one in there. Maybe sell this one. Fertilizer shovel. We have this, and we have ooh, the ritual knife. We have that. Yeah. Well, I think that's unique, so I'll keep that. Put the scope 44 in there. Sniper rifle. Don't really need it, but it's a sniper rifle. Um... 25 and then 40 so fertilizer shovel does more let's put the dismemberer away shovel's cool and here we have the toy knife yeah I think we'll we'll give uh, we'll give Tobar a taste of his own medicine shall we yeah let's put all that ghoul stuff in there recon armor recon helmet um, I'm trying to find stuff that weighs bunch okay and then we got all this junk oh uh, scrap metal cigarettes I don't know why I have that stuff but we still have the Kriv Beckner we'll keep that in mind ammo and then yeah and uh, hold on real quick Nadine, you'll be the exception, just because you've been so nice to us. But I don't want to risk anything if I can help it. 
Also, I lied about the damage. Oh, the damage is 15 because we have, uh... You don't see us anyway. We're invisible. Open storm door to engine room. Alrighty. Tobar. Well, if it isn't my favorite traveler, and oh, what a trip you were on. Why, when you were under, you should have heard some of the things that came out of your mouth. But I suppose you're more interested in what came out of your head, aren't you? So is it true? Why'd you do it? Why do we do anything? You travel the world, kill people, take trophies that interest you, and move on. I'm much the same. The only difference is that my trophies are somewhat more medical in nature. Oh, and to be honest, I probably kill fewer people than you do. But I suppose it's time that came to an end. One way or another. So he's going to attack us now. Yeah. Found you. So yeah, the reason we have uh, 15 damage on the toy knife is because we have uh, uh, melee perks. Alright, actually, let's see how this plays out, because I'm using the weakest weapon in the game. That's not going well for Tobar so far. Oh, the toy knife broke. Uh, well, we have another melee weapon. Bye-bye, Tobar. And that's... Is that Tobar is now li Tobar now lies dead? All right, the Duchess Gambit key. We got a riverboat trading ticket. We have the scope forty four Magnum. Some punga fruit, which we will leave. And we have the Grifter's fit. It's unique. Damage resistance of two. Uh, the effects are charisma plus one and small guns plus one. It's not anything I'm interested in, but it is unique. Here we can see uh, little brain particulates and whatnot of, uh, I guess, the tribal members. Before we get to the one on the table, though, just, this man is sick. Activate familiar piece of brain. Gray matter. For some reason, you feel a cerebral sense of loss as you look at the familiar lump of gray matter. We can leave it alone, or take it with us. And that is the story of Tobar, the very, very dead man. Alright, thank you Nadine for the closure, and real quick, let's say we put that back on. Huh? We don't want to harm Nadine, she's been nice to us, and besides, she offered us a free ride. The others, not so much. <clears throat> Wait, what? Funnel cakes. For some reason, I read this like a crab cake. We having fun yet? Oh yeah. He's done. Any chance you're going home now? Now that I've got this sweet boat, I guess I can head back home for a while anyway. Just wait till Mom sees the haul I'm bringing home. Alrighty. Yeah, enough, Gavin. Let's move. Whew. Excuse me. I don't mean to yawn this much. <laughs> Alright, I think we're heading to, what, Calvert Mansion? What, what's this? Oh, that's the sub recovery. Alright, let's head to Calvert Mansion, because I know we have a quest. Which we can continue doing. It's either this, or we can explore random locations with probably not much in them. That's the only reason I'm not exploring every location. Alright. Hearing voices. Return to Desmond with the information. And honestly, if I was given information like that, I'd kind of just go straight ahead and do it. Instead of returning all the way here and wasting time. But... I know exactly what Desmond's gonna say. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about the whole dead bodies thing. <laughs> he doesn't clean them. He's kind of a slob. Hey. Okay. You infiltrated those tribals yet? Yeah, you kind of don't have a uh, 
uh, a very good lighting scale on you. I'm in. I found out where the leader is hiding. And you didn't go track him down and grill him for information. I'm not your daddy. Don't waste your time checking in. Go find him and figure out what he wants with this place, you moron. All right, don't have to be so rude. Back to business. But it was a quest objective. Find more information from the tribes' leader. Sure thing. Wait, what? Ash. That was interesting. Huh. Okay. So yeah, uh, he. Even though your goal is to turn it into him, he kind of hates that. He's like, "What are you doing here? Go do that instead. Be a smart person." The wrecked sea tub. I don't remember how exactly we know that's where he is, but that's where he is. It was probably from from uh, something Nadine told us, anyway, which is fine. I'm not gonna argue with that. Although it probably would have made more sense to go there and head down, but we'll we'll scale the cliff. We'll walk along the edge, ignoring as many mire lurks as we can, <clears throat> which is cool. Let's actually swap out our weapon too. Uh, let's go with the backwater rifle. We haven't used it that much. Nope. I'm avoiding anything I can. Oh. And look, there's the wrecked sea tub. Oh. Alright. Oh. I don't know why I pulled out my weapon. Let's use the key we got. I don't remember how we got a key, but we got a key. <clears throat> let's head inside. This looks like a stealth mission. Probably in danger because of that mire lurk. Okay. Still waiting for it to pop through, but I don't think that'll happen anytime soon. Okay. Myrlurg and a Myrlurg King over there. Maybe a Swamp Lurk. Okay, we're hidden now. That's cool. Still don't see anyone. Let's go ahead and ignore that. And over this way. <clears throat> Again, I wish we move a bit faster. But that's fine. We'll just jump around. No one will hear our footsteps. That's cool. I thought that was a bear trap. Okay. We seem to be getting somewhere with this. Is on. Is it a coffin? At last, yes! Desmond will die, and our long struggle will finally end the only way it could have, with me as the victor! No, not astral knowledge, you simpleton! Psychic domination! And that still won't be possible until you destroy Desmond's jamming device! No need. We shall reconsecrate the mansion and remove the impurities disrupting your perfect guidance. Yes, fine. Go destroy the house and its impurities. Just stop that jammer and I'll be free of you morons once and for all. Yes, we shall be free of all limitations. Thank you, Master. We shall be the instrument of your mighty will. Come back for you later. Holographic projection. So you're the mouse that was scurrying around here? Not much to look at, but at least you're not drooling all over yourself. I can work with that. 
Now then, perhaps you can be more useful than that simpering spiritualist and his tribe of idiots. The hell are you? What you are interacting with is merely a holographic projection, and a rather clumsy one at that, but it's all I can manage at the moment. As for myself, you gaze upon one of America's greatest minds, preserved through the miracles of science! Much more elegant than shambling on as some rotting corpse for all eternity, don't you agree? Why was Jackson talking to you? He thinks I'm some sort of god, and I have no reason to disabuse him of the notion. This makes me de facto leader of the tribe, as it were. Regardless, I trust you can be more effective than he has been. I need your help on an important task. There's a troublesome ghoul who lives in Calvert Mansion. I need him destroyed and his jamming device neutralized immediately. What have you got against the ghoul? What do you know about Desmond? Desmond that Quest completed. Hearing voices. Thought control. Did you tell the tribals to attack the mansion? might have found something interesting. This man doesn't seem to be harmful to us. He's not bringing up any hostility, but then again, he also hasn't seen us. I don't know if I want to despair him of that illusion. See what he has on him. Well, we are friends with the tribe. Trent, yes, fellow seeker. How do you lead the tribe? I know it may seem that I am a brave shepherd to my flock, but the truth is far more humble. I am nothing more than the largest fish in our school, as we swim through the astral seas, exploring, learning, and becoming one. But we are not swimming aimlessly. No, we have a beacon. The shining mind speaks to me in my meditations and guides us always. You, Key? Why'd you attack the mansion? We take no pleasure in violence. Our goal was merely to remove the ghoul. His presence is an offense to the Transcendent Master's astral dominion. I cannot claim to understand the exact reasons that the mansion's resident caused such disruption, however. To understand fully, ask the Master. Which we already did. Tell me about your tribe. We are a family of dreamers. A band of astral explorers, and a church of the mind. In time, we will be free of the horrors of the base physical world. We will play amongst the pure thoughts of the universe. Alright, cool. Time to dip now. Well, you're saved. My helmet seems to be, uh, not glitching anymore. Oh! Never mind, I lied. And what happens if I do kill you? I don't know, we might save him. Where's our where's our auto save? Where's this? We'll save here. I don't get any negative karma. Just tribal garb. Okay, well I mean I also don't think we should have done that. Oh, oh, hand. Oh, wow, that's his hand? Okay. Just because, uh... That would also, you know, give us bad cahoots with the tribe. Which, you know, we're in with. But until I see negative reper uh, repercussions, we're gonna keep our choice the way it is. 
All right, so clearly, we have a choice now. Thought control. Speak with Desmond. So someone is trying to kill Desmond and get his jamming device, whatever that is. I think we have some questions for the old ghoul. I think it's time he needs to come clean. Okay. Let's go ahead and use a couple stim packs. Alright, let's reload. <clears throat> Desmond, answer my questions. I knew it. I knew that little bastard was behind all this. After all these years, he stuck his head out, and this is my chance to cut it off. Figuratively speaking, of course. You know this guy? What's going on here? Calvert is my old rival. Centuries we've played this game. I knew he'd be stupid enough to hide so close to his family home. It's not a matter of hate. It's a matter of destiny. He is my enemy, and I do not suffer any bastard who opposes me to live. I knew he was here, and it is my intent to find him and call down a righteous fucking hammer on his head. Figurative, I mean. His head. So what is this brain thing anyway? You said it was Calvert? Who's that? The owner of the mansion? Him. I should have known. My old rival, so close to his family home. Only he would be so stupid. He was once a man, Professor Calvert. The Calverts owned half of Maryland, back when there was a Maryland to own. Members of the Calvert family were influential all over the world. They practically owned a deed to the U.S. government. In their best days, there were no less than three Calvert family senators, seven members of the House, and two governors. Wow. They even had a top candidate for president, until that scandal with the dog forced them to drop out of the race. I was particularly proud of that one. <laughs> so now you want me to do something else, right? Of course I fucking want you to do something else. You don't expect me to trot around this mud hole myself, do you? Look, it was the only option, okay? Maybe you should watch your tone, old man. Or what? <laughs> you think I haven't been shot before? Think that you, over the thousands who have tried, can take me down. You'd best wise the hell up and play along. I'll get what I want, and you'll get rich, and then we can go about our separate goddamn ways. What do you want me to do? So, those halfwits are getting messages from the professor, right? So he's off somewhere, broadcasting to him. But without those buggers to do things for him, he can't do much for himself. So, we cut off his ability to talk to him, and he'll need to try harder. Maybe then I can find the squishy little worm and finish him off for good. So how do we shut him down? If I know the professor, he's using a high-frequency cognitive sign broadcast. I have the perfect device to jam up that little worm's talk box. All you need to do is take it to the highest point around and install it. Easy, right? <laughs> I'm afraid of heights. That big wheel down by the docks, right? Right. Attach it to the bottom car, then turn it on and spin the jammer to the top. No fucking problem. I'll watch from here and turn it on. Then we'll see where our little professor is. Now, go! Aye, aye. Cogwave jammer added. Install the cogwave jammer on the Ferris wheel. Okay, cool. I think we'll do this and then end off the, uh, the episode. <clears throat> Hope you guys have been doing good yourselves. Um, I'm definitely not hating being stuck at home um yeah <laughs> it's not the worst thing that's happened you know but you know my, my situation could definitely it is I, Professor be worse Calvert. 
Don't bother looking around. I'm in your mind. But aren't you Desmond's faithful little employee? Coming to gum up my work, are we? Well, I have a better idea. How about instead of playing his game, you destroy that nasty little device? Deposit it in the nearby trash compactor and we will never have to worry about it again. Hmm. I assure you that the gratitude of Professor Calvert is worth a great deal more than that of a washed up old limey. Install the cogwave jammer on the ferris wheel, or use the trash compactor to destroy it. Where's the trash compactor? I'm, I'm generally, uh, I'm genuinely curious. I don't know where it is. So there's that. Oh, it's over there. Uh, see, I would, but I'm too lazy. I'm already here, and the other thing's too far, and... Ugh. Ferris wheel. Installing the Cogwave Jammer will scramble Professor Calvert's messages to his followers and enable Desmond to locate him. Install the Cogwave Jammer. You fool! What have you done? You will pay for this! Hey! No one betrays me! Do you understand? You will suffer for this! You ah. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. Coming for ah. Is this cause I killed the leader? I think so. Ooh. There's another? Ooh. Oh, whoa, there's quite a few of them. Okay, well, you're going down. Oh, man. Okay, well, I guess we'll end out the episode this way. Come on, come on. Okay, where's the other one? Up there? Oh, she dropped her gun. <laughs> Dang. Alright. Well... I guess that is going to have to do it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all Whoa, is that a... Oh, wow, okay, that's a lot more. Uh, yeah, I'll probably just take care of these guys in the next episode, I'll be honest. Uh, we're also gonna die here. I can, I can feel my heartbeat. There it is. Spam on stim packs. Imagine you got addicted to stim packs and that was a thing. Alright, well, I thought I was done with this firefight. I guess not. Let's probably use a better weapon. Clear a path through here. We don't have to kill everyone. We just have to make it out alive, which is really all that I need. Can't fast travel while there are people around trying to kill you. Makes sense. Makes sense. Alrighty, well, this is going to have to do it for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I um, hope you all minded my yawning. You know, I uh, hope it wasn't too bad. <laughs> and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.